Hi guys, my name is Alessandro from Milan and today I will show you how to build a, a wing starting from the coordinates of the airfoils. First of all, we need a good database and fortunately we have uh, this one which is from the University of Illinois where you can find any kind of airfoils. For this tutorial we will use the 4412 which is this one okay and download it save it okay and close it okay this is our file how it looks like you can see also the extension is that file and now we need to save it as a text so save as a file text okay okay there is another one but I will to replace it and that's it okay we next we erase the first row and save it Next, we open Excel, we open the file, fix it with, click on Next, we add the, by clicking another column, and then we finish. Okay, now, this is, these are all numbers. This is the X coordinate, UI coordinate, and Z coordinate. So, next we replace all the commas with, no, sorry, all dot with commas, replace all, and close it. This is one, and this is one. As you saw, the coordinates are for two dimension airfoils. Since SOLIDWORKS requires the, the third, we need to fill with zeros. Okay, then we erase this one. Now, SOLIDWORKS uh, reads these files as a measure and millimeters so this is in fact one millimeter 0 0.50 0 0.01 so if you need a bigger bigger wing you need to multiply before importing the file on SOLIDWORKS by the the dimension you need so if you need a wings of 200 millimeters of cord you need to multiply this value by 200 and then drag and calculation okay since SOLIDWORKS read only the first three column we need to copy these files and replace it with this one so we click copy then right click values erase the other one and that's it we save it, click on yes, we close it, and don't save it. Now we have the file. As you can see, we have commas here. So I will try to import this file without changing. So we open SOLIDWORKS. new part, 3D part, sketch, front plane, exit sketch, feature, cure, now we browse, choose the text, as you can see SOLIDWORKS reads only this text file, not the other one, so this is why we save it as a text, now we import it, remember that we are using the file with commas 
now you look you as you can see it is not a profile it is a useless it is nothing so we cancel then we go here modify replace replace commas commas with dot replace all and then save it okay now we re-import the same file text and that's it I recommend always to check the integrity of of this curve because sometimes you can find uh, open in this case the trailing edge is open and you cannot just click and drag and drop or close it manually you need to to convert this curve in entities so click on sketch choose the plane then convert entities click on the curve right click and then it's black black means that it is a an entity now if you for some reason unknown some reason you try to close it it is not a, a good way to, to work you need to close it properly and the best way is to close it with a tangent arc clicking on the f sorry double click tangent arc beginning and and that's it now it's closed if you want to measure this section you cannot use smart dimension you you need to use measure so you click on here and then click here and this is 200.1 mil 21 millimeter so it's very good now you you need to extrude it just to have an idea so you click on the profile then 200 millimeters is is good yeah it's good it's just a square because 200 by 200 but it's okay okay if you need to uh, assess the weight of this section first of all you need to to choose in which material you want to build it so right click here edit material let's say balsa wood because you want to build this wing for your model then click apply close and then evaluate click on mass properties and you say 100 grams 100 grams okay this is good so if you want to reduce the mass because it is too weight or because it is not as the as build wing because here you will put some servos some uh, reinforcement some everything so it is not your your real wing it is the, just a project so if you need to reduce the mass or have a better assessment you delete the extruding you choose your your geometry then click on thin feature and then here you choose the thickness of uh, of the of the wing so let's say that you have a sheet of balsa which is two millimeters in thickness you change it in two millimeters and then boom it's built 
now let's say how well we reduce it in to 180 grams so it is a very good weight reduction okay now with this wing you can do some other cool tricks but if you want to build this wing i i can recommend that don't use it do not use these functions for build because is uh for for mechanical point of view it is not correct how solid work twist the, the blade this wing i will show you but take it as you as you wish if you want to do by your own it's okay no problem okay feature insert features then flex extrude mm -hmm. and then uh, twisting okay and this is our twisted wing if you need to bend it insert features flex bend and then you see that the the arrow moves to a yellow cube to a double way arrow so you can bend it let's say like here Some of you will think that you can modify your profile just bending a wing, but this is not correct. If you want another profile, you need to make all the steps of this process from the first step, not just bending or because it is incorrect. It's not from for from a mechanical point of view, it's not correct. It's just a, a good trick but is not good so if you want to taper go on flex tapering you choose your sector and then taper taper okay This is all, and uh, next time I will show you how to close it and make a flow simulation to to have an idea on how this wing might behave when when flying. That's it. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that my English was clear and the concept also. Thank you so much and good night. Ciao.